Hey guys, it's been a minute since I last uploaded a video and if you're a subscriber, thanks so much for coming back and if you're new here, thanks so much and I hope you'll stick around. A little note on this video, I had some issues with recording, mainly me forgetting to check to make sure that it was indeed recording, so it's gonna be a little bit different. And now back to regular programming. So my mom and I went to Valencia back in February for a few days, um, the day after we got back from Paris. For the title card, I picked this um, 4x6 card because it reminded me of the Valencia logo I saw on a sign at the beach and unfortunately I didn't take a photo of it. I stamped the word Valencia on it with the Kelly Perky Addison stamps uh, which are really old so they're not in her store anymore. And the cork circle is from the Allie Edwards travel collection from last year. If I'm not mistaken, all of the journaling cards are also from this collection. I wanted the cork circle to be in the middle of the pattern, so I cut the card first and then I adhered the circle to the card. I used the other half of the card as a background for the ordering sheet. In the journaling card, I basically journaled about the reason for our trip, which was quality time with my mom. This is where I'm gonna switch over to the album to show you what I did between journaling this card and the next page. Here's the album and I finished the journaling on this card and I added the date with the one canoe two stamp. To the photo of us on the plane, I just added a let's go um, chipboard sticker from um, the same travel collection. We loved our Airbnb and so I had to take my own photo of it. Um, I journaled a little bit on here and I added a sticker from the same collection. Um, this right here, we went to dinner at a place near our our Airbnb and it was called La Lonja del Pescado and we wanted to have some seafood and they actually had a little uh, piece of paper where you could write down what you wanted. Um, so uh, we actually had no idea what most of this even meant because their Spanish is completely different than my Spanish. So um, it was hard for us to know what it was. We just kind of picked something at random. Um, so this is what we had for our food and this uh, sticker is from the Ali Edwards foodie collection. Uh, I journaled here a little bit but I think that was later on. I didn't journal anything on these photos uh, because I love them as they are and I don't like to add anything extra. On Sunday my mom and I went looking for a bakery um, because we wanted some bread and some coffee and we found a, a cute little place um, that was delicious. We actually kept going back there for breakfast. These are the sheets that they line their uh, baked goods in and I just took a piece and wrapped it on a cardstock and then I added a little uh, sticker also from the collection. The label I placed on here, I don't remember where it's from but I found it to be a bit too long so I trimmed a part of it. And then I just wrote down the name of the bakery, which is El Cabañal. After breakfast on Sunday morning, we walked over to the beach. It was a really short walk from our Airbnb. We saw this fountain called La Fuente del Barco de Agua, which translates to water boat fountain. And it was really cool. I added a little bit of journaling to the photo uh, in regards to what we did that day. And I was looking to see if there were any stickers that I liked for this, but I didn't. Okay, so I don't know what happened uh, there, but I'm also missing this a little bit of this. Uh, basically, I added one of the stickers from the Allie Edwards travel kit from last year here. This is from the Foodie Collection. Uh, we went to have some paella that afternoon, the Sunday afternoon, um, because we were told that it's only available in the afternoon. So we went and they made um, paella just for us. It was absolutely delicious. Um, I journaled a little bit about it here. We also had some paella. This back here, this is actually a screen. I know you guys can't see it, but this is actually a screen where you can see the cooks making the paella. And then on Monday, we went over to, um, we went over, Monday was our last day and we went to do a little bit of shopping and we also walked around afterwards to the 
city of um, arts and sciences and just I just took some pictures there which the buildings were pretty awesome this is the same building as this this is the sciences building um, and this one is the I believe is the same building as this one but just a different angle of it journal same thing um, date on the bottom I tried to do some calligraphy on here but it didn't work out so I covered it up with a sticker that just says dinner and um, some more journaling here and this is about the dinner that we had and this was we had tapas and the place did not really um, lend itself for photography because it was a little bit dim in there so I just took a picture of our sangria because I am now a fan and um, we love this spot oh I forgot one more thing on this is actually from Saturday evening we were trying to see the sunset to see where we could see it and it was supposed to be at the beach but um, because the beach wasn't facing west the sunset wasn't there and then um, on Tuesday before we were left we went to the central market um, to go get lunch and um, I think this is where it picks up I'm not a hundred percent so I'm gonna leave you guys here Okay, so as I was saying, this is the Central Market and my mom and I went to walk around and of course I love the place, it's very old and it's very beautiful. And um, since we were just going to have lunch before we went, um, our flight was in the afternoon, or I, I want to say around 2.30, so we went a little bit early to have lunch and we just tried a bunch of different things and let me tell you that orange juice was so good. They make a lot of juices right there on site and um, oh, they were just all so delicious so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some journaling over on the left side and this card is actually from also from the Hallie Edwards um, travel collection but it was one of the three by eight cards and I cut it down to size because I don't have any three by eight layouts here um, so I figured I could use it as a background and I'm looking for um, something that'll match and so I wanted something nice and bright and yellow and then I pulled out my box of tags to find one where I could journal. So I was playing around with the placement of um, the sticker and I just decided to do it straight up. I tested the pen and it's much so I decided to get a different pen, um, a sharpie instead. I added a sticker to the bottom of the tag and then I adhered it. As you can tell I had some difficulty with it. And then we're going back over to the album. Alright, so you guys saw me put this together. Um, this little sticker says today's meal and I just basically blogged about the different stuff that we tried at the market. Um, this is a photo from outside of the market. Um, we actually went in to have some hot chocolate in there because it was actually kind of a chilly day. Um, after all, it was in February so it's off season. Um, we went walking to another square and um, I just grabbed one of the, um, one of the labels that um, I used. I think over here it kind of looks the same and I just added a tiny bit of journaling there and then I selected um, the travel is basic to my soul card and I added um, a cute little heart from Felicity Jane so I came back to the front of the layout because I wanted to make sure that I added some finishing touches and like I said I added the journaling onto that page and I went to the next page and I wanted to use the Soak Up The Sun stamp um, with the white ink. What I should not have done was try to stamp the stamp on top of the album, like inside the album. So I went and I printed it again and I did it again, but this time it actually worked. So um, yay me. You may not be able to tell in the video, but it actually does um, come out nicely in real life. This stamp set has a little sunshine, so I stamped it along the side of Soak Up The Sun just because it's super cute. The reason the bakery card looks a little bit different is that I went and cut out part of the paper because it was just a little bit too bulky, so that's why it looks different from what I showed you earlier on the album. 
Here's a flip through of the three spreads. I hope you guys enjoyed the video despite the recording mishaps. If you have any questions, please leave them down below or check out my blog at wanderlustdocumented.com. Subscribe if you already haven't so you don't miss the next video, which will be our trip to Porto. Bye!